Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. There's a sunscreen that's doing the rounds online that people are claiming to be the most lightweight SPF on the market. People are flocking to get their hands on it and saying this could be the best sunscreen they've ever tried. I'm talking about this product. This is the Hello Sunday, the one that's got it all, SPF and primer in one. Well, if anyone that knows me knows I've got an intense fear of missing out. And so with all the hype, I thought, okay, let's put one on order, try it out, put it through its paces and work out is this truly the most lightweight SPF you're going to find? I want to share it all in today's video. So sit back, relax, and let's talk the Hello Sunday sunscreen. Now, before we get into this video, I would love to know what your own experience has been with this product or anything else from the Hello Sunday range. I think they have, well, when I last checked, like six or seven different sunscreens, and they all do different things and have different formulations. So sound off in the comments section below and let me know your thoughts, feelings, and opinions. Whatever those thoughts might be, if you enjoy this style of content where I take a product, we put it through its paces over a 30-day period, and I share with you what my thoughts and feelings are, let me know by reaching down and giving this video a big thumbs up and a like. This is obviously the best way of supporting me as a content creator, because the more likes a video gets, the more widely YouTube will distribute it on its platform. So, from the bottom of my heart, thank you all so, so much. Now, without further ado, let's cut that waffle and delve straight on in. So let's start off with a little bit of a conversation about this product itself. Well, it's made in Spain, it's a European product, and I do really enjoy European style sunscreens. They tend to use newer generation filters, which tend to feel a little more lightweight on the skin, feel better on application. They also give more robust UVA protection, which I'm all about, because never forget, it's not just about that SPF number, but it's also about the UVA coverage that product gives too. I was really drawn to the clay on this product, which are a multi-purpose, invisible, fragrance-free formula that protects UVA and UVB, infrared pollution, and blue light. With a soft velvet finish, it's the perfect last step in your skincare routine. It's sweat-resistant and water-resistant, perfect for humid conditions and an intense workout. Well, I don't live in a humid environment, I'm here in the UK, and I've never been known to do an intense workout, but I still wanted to try it in different environments to see how it holds up. They claim that this is going to give you some blue light, some infrared, some pollution shield technology too, on top of that great UVA and UVB protection, and that you can use this even if you're sweating all day long and it'll continue to give you that protection. I enjoy the fact that this is designed to be like a sunscreen and a primer in one, because often people will wear makeup on top of sunscreens, and a lot of traditionally the older style sunscreens don't let you put makeup on top of them without them bawling, pilling up, it, it's a whole hot mess. So I do like the idea of a primer and a sunscreen all in one, helping us to streamline things down. So I paid 20 pounds for this product at my local Boots, and for that I got 50 mil of product, which isn't a whole lot. You know, I tend to go for larger size sunscreens because I don't like to be repurchasing time and time again. I think going for larger quantity products often gives us better value for money and it cuts down on the overall packaging and waste in general because you're repurchasing a lot less frequently. However, that price point and the quantity is very much in line with a lot of Korean sunscreens which always seem to come in 50ml bottles. Not my personal preference but certainly not out of line with the rest of the market. This combines some older generation filters with some new generation ones too which I personally really like. In fact, there's so many different filters in here. I've linked them all in the description box below. If you want to nerd out and read about all the filters in here and what they do, it's all there for your convenience. But I was really impressed with the total number of filters that are in here, and you can tell by the different ingredients used just how broad spectrum coverage you're actually gonna get from this product. Some of the filters chosen also um, seem to be in here to give that water resistant, that more long wear application, which is what it says on the bottle. In terms of other ingredients, there's some great calming and soothing ones such as chamomile extract, which I always look for in sunscreens, because you know, the sun can be quite inflammatory on our skin, so anything that can be used alongside those filters to calm and soothe everything down has to be a good thing. This product is also fragrance free which is what they state on the bottle and I personally like that though it does come with the caveat that it's going to smell the chemical filters that are used in this. So if you don't like a chemical scented sunscreen then you're going to have to go with something that has some added fragrance in or uses different filters. This definitely does have a little bit of a scent to it. I'm going to come on to that later in the video but we're going to delve in. I've been using this for the past three weeks and I've actually just got through my first tube. I repurchased it quite recently I did really enjoy it. In fact, I repurchased it should indicate that. But I found that one tube lasted me about three weeks and I was using it interchangeably with my own Mad About Skin sunscreen. So, you know, I don't think you're going to get an awful lot of use out of one tube of this, particularly if you're reapplying during the day. 
So this comes in this gorgeous pattern. I mean, look at that. It's kind of iridescent. It looks beautiful and it's very convenient. You know, whilst I like to go for a larger size sunscreen, you can throw this in your purse for reapplication during the day, whereas a larger bottle you probably couldn't. So there is definitely that pro to it. It applies in what I'd say is more of an oily texture than maybe I expected. So it goes on a sort of like an oily gel kind of consistency, but does disappear down pretty matte. So you work it into the skin and from first off the bat, you definitely notice it's hydrating. This, they say the finish on this is velvet, which usually implies it's going to have a slight sheen to it. Definitely not deadpan matte. And that was my experience with it. I'm wearing it today. And the reason that I wanted to apply it on my skin before I then came on camera, so you could see after it's settled in exactly the finish that you're going to get. I personally really like it. And it does smooth everything out. It works the primer to definitely keep everything matte all day long. And the best thing about it is it does have a noticeable blurring effect. Effect, so it can minimize pores and imperfections on the skin, which is kind of what you expect a primer to do. If you see though, there's a, ever such a slight amount of shimmer to it. Nothing that's going to give you that greasy look, but it's definitely not deadpan matte either. I think this is a really nice finish and it is super, in fact, ridiculously lightweight. Having worn this consistently, like I say, for that three week period, I never felt weighed down. I didn't feel that the skin was heavy. And the reason that I used it consistently is because I wanted to see if it broke me out. I used it interchangeably with the sunscreen that I already know doesn't break me out. And I've seen no increase in skin congestion, whiteheads, blackheads, or breakouts. So I think this could definitely work for oily, acne prone skin types too. It sinks in, disappears without a trace, and you can definitely put some concealer, foundation, anything you want on top of it. Today, I concealed a few zits that I had here, there, and everywhere, and it didn't ball up, it didn't pill, it didn't budge, and I definitely feel it gives a little bit of a grip to your concealer. It lasts that little bit longer, so definitely giving you that primer action alongside that sunscreen. So in terms of the finish, yes, beautifully lightweight, super elegant, feels absolutely gorgeous on the skin, and there's a lot of pros going for this. If I was going to call out the cons, the things that maybe the people fangirling about this product online don't tell you, there's a couple. First of all, that price point. £20 for 50ml of product is pretty up there. As a treat, you know, if you're going to be wearing makeup all day long and you want something that's a primer and a sunscreen all in one, this is a great option. I wouldn't necessarily use this as my sunscreen every single day because that could prove quite costly and a little bit wasteful. I'd save these for those days when you want to look your glam best, you want that guaranteed good skin day and you're going to be putting a heavy makeup look on top of it, this would work really, really well. It's also water resistant, which is amazing. So if, you want, if you're going to be exercising outside or you're going to be sweating in those humid conditions and you want something that won't budge, this didn't. When you come to rinse it off, you really have to go in with a decent cleanser, soap, something to really shift it off the skin. So definitely can attest to the fact it's water resistant and definitely, definitely great if you're exercising and building up a sweat. But that cost... It is still a little bit up there compared to what I would normally pay for a sunscreen when you consider the quantity you're getting. I also want to call out the scent. So it's fragrance free, like they said, in the terms of it's got no artificial fragrance added, but there's definitely a fragrance there. It's it's a little bit on the chemically side. It smells like a chemical sunscreen. There's a reason most brands pack their chemical sunscreens full of that sort of like beach vibes scent that we often associate with sunscreens because their filters themselves don't smell great. And that's the case with this. I timed it and it lingers probably about three or four minutes. So you're not going to be carrying this chemical scent around with you all day. Absolutely not. But it's not going to work for everyone if you're very sensitive to those sorts of scents and you like something that kind of masks them. This probably won't be the product for you. But overall, what I say, this is the most lightweight sunscreen I've ever tried. Like people are claiming online. I'd say it's up there. There are some other ones. Like I say, I like the Beauty of Joseon one. I like the Mad About Skin one. Well, I like that so much. I put my name on it. So that might be a bit biased there. And um, I also like the Skin 1004 one. They work really, really well. But this is definitely up there with them. Where I think this is special and something different in the market is it's water water resistant. Normally water resistant SPFs are much, much heavier on the skin. So to be able to have something of this lightweight that's also water resistant is pretty special. And for that, I definitely give it a ding, 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 holy grail status. Not everybody needs a water resistant SPF. You know, if you're not in a super humid climate, you don't sweat a lot, you're not exercising ferociously outside, you actually don't need a water resistant SPF. You can go for a more day wear SPF that's going to be lighter on the skin. But if you need something a bit more heavy duty and something that does have that water resistance, this is probably the one that I would recommend. Feels great on the skin, it gives you that little tint of a glow to guarantee a good skin day. And I think for the price point, if you use it infrequently on those days where you actually need those added benefits, yeah. 
I think this is going to be a really great find for you. Now, I've linked it in the comment section below, multiple different retailers. So wherever in the world you want to shop this, there should be one there for you. They're there for your convenience. And I'm going to disclose, <laughs> that this has a secret space in my heart because today, before I filmed this video, I put it on, went out the door, and actually took my cat to the vets. Um, just for the nail clipping. I just nail clipping. And the vet said to me, do you know what? You're looking really well. I was like, oh, thank you. She was like, yeah, your skin is glowing. I was like, oh, thank you so, so much. And when you get that comment compliment that you weren't asking for that came from someone that you know isn't a close friend and has no reason to be nice to you <laughs> and you think you get that compliment you think okay something's different and the thing that I would attest to being slightly different is I was wearing this one today so you know if you want a complete impartial go ask my vet <laughs> there you are this is a stunner and I'm really proud to be able to share it with you let me know your thoughts feelings opinions in the comment section below wherever you are in the world guys stay safe stay well and love your skin take care Bye.